Thanks for taking a look at the It All Is Multi-Coherence Training Design. This is a full equalizer of multiple bands of coherence and as you'll see we also do train amplitude and frequency. So if you want to see what it does you can always go to the design notes. Detailed notes you can see description of objectives, file management, how to train, where to put sites, the whole deal. If you want to know more about any given object, you can just go to the properties. That's right click on the property, go to its object tab, and it'll tell you exactly what it does. Also, in the instruments menu, you have another way of finding out, which is the captions. You know, it takes up a little bit of real estate, so we save it as off but you can find out what any object will do. Another super helpful tool is volumes. Look at all this audio. Uh, here we've added a track of digital audio and we also have MIDI audio for each one of the frequency bands. It's in the tools menu. Now we've set it so that you can train up coherence or down coherence. So I just turned delta down and I'm going to also turn gamma to train down. Right now nothing's training. I'm at a minute 20. I can go into auto threshold or no threshold at any moment. But at 1 minute and 30 seconds, it comes on. And now I have feedback for the, mo the different uh, training bars as well as frequency. That's blue when it's on. And amplitude. That's blue when it's down. The frequency is when it is within the 7 to 15 hertz range. Uh, this on the left side is amplitude, okay, and on the right side this trend graph is frequency. Again, the whole range is represented in a nice rainbow tone. Well, so let's start taking advantage of the volumes tool and seeing that we can turn on or off any given frequency to be able to cue into that one or just to take the sounds out. I've set the scale here, I've taken the multimedia out, and now I'm going to focus in on the middle tones and just give me feedback when my middle tones are over their 60 second average. Turned everything else off, and now I've got just the media. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of reducing so that you can hear me talk, but in fact, as each bar goes into the training range, the volume increases a little bit. In instrument two, we have up and along the top the same oscilloscope. That blue line is the bipolar, uh, mathematically calculated bipolar montage of the other two. Again, we also have the training feedback visual for frequency and amplitude. And we have this nice spectrogram. You can see that it gets nice and bright when the histogram gets bright. Uh, it's going to give you a history of about four minutes. Okay. Um, however, that history will only be seen it will only be seen, watch this, if I have already gone into edit layout mode. If I haven't gone into edit layout mode, when I do go into edit layout mode to bring a DVD player or my flash player or my video player to the front, that uh, video history will be lost. So do remember to put it in edit layout mode beforehand. Remember also that you can maximize the video player, you can maximize the flash player, and get a full screen experience. As with every design pack of the It All Is system, we have set you up with statistics. It is really full statistics. That's training as well as biological, uh, simple, without feedback statistics. Percent success. This is in session. But then also with Excel, we can give you evolution over time, like these ones here. You can see that the person has been gaining in coherence in certain frequencies and so on and so forth. These are uh, really useful to be able to emit reports and to track progress, as well as to capture event button and other activity that the bio review doesn't. So, just log into our site, itallis.com, our designs. Have a look around and empower, employ, and enjoy. Thanks.